Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the afternoon of day two on this uh, Living Heritage National Horse Boarding Championships with Horse Boarding UK and what a morning of races we have had. Some really big surprises. We're only going to talk about the elite um, but there is a battle going on in the top three and it's, not, it's a surprising battle in some respects. In some respects, you're absolutely right there. The person, the team out ahead, dead pigeons. I'd always pretty much be expecting that, especially early in the season when some of the other teams are just getting back into the sport. Dead pigeons, so experienced, four times national champion. You know they're going to be at the top. The next team, definitely not a surprise. UK Border Force, they deserve their place in second. Yeah, you're saying, you're saying out ahead. They're out ahead by 0.55 of a second. Yeah, it's not, not a big. long way out. Out, out ahead, 0.55 of a second for the UK Border Force, who just haven't quite had a clean run today, you know, to, to really uh, take that lead. Um, Dead Pigeons were lucky, actually, because the Dead Pigeons got the handle pulled out of the hand on the final run just before the UK Border Force went out, and the UK Border Force just stacked it, so you know, they've got away with that. that Very run. much so, absolutely. Yeah. But the, the big shock, the big surprise, is after their brilliant performance yesterday. Uh, being one of only two elite teams to complete a run in the morning session, yeah. consider it done, are sitting in third place. They are still right there and it looks like they only need about two and a half seconds to get into second place, maybe even into, into top spot. Yeah, two three and a half seconds. seconds. Three seconds this is for first place. It's first just, place. It, and that is absolutely, totally doable. But what was really interesting is they actually lost that place for a set, for, a, for, for like one run. It was a uh, board senseless, took that position off them, and we thought, okay, this is it. You uh, consider it done and moving down the table. And then they came out, went through the four cone weave, the best we've seen all weekend. Yeah, they went through it smooth and they went through it fast. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. And when she opens up Levi, oh my god, that horse can run. Absolutely fine. We know there's this the stamina issue in terms of he, he can't run the same distances at the same speed as the, the thoroughbreds. But like we said this weekend, it isn't the fastest team that's gonna necessarily gonna win. It's down to the best teamwork that's going to win. Absolutely. Um, and so just behind them, five seconds behind them, is which is an, a, a, an age is Board Senseless. So Board Senseless currently in fourth, still got a lot to do. Richard team kind of fighting himself there as the board rider for both teams. Um, and then behind them we have the other shock, Mad Atters down in fifth place, over a hundred seconds behind because they haven't completed a run yesterday. Yeah, did amazingly well today to put all that out of their minds and to actually get a run done. Someone else I'd just like to mention, if I sort of Help him. It's alright, Lloyd, I've got you. It's alright, I've got you. I'm here. Okay. We've got a wounded soldier. Lloyd Crab, four rider, four um, pocket rocket. And limited edition. And limited edition. Crashed on every single run out there today. Most of the runs as well yesterday. Lloyd, how are you, how are you keeping your mind together? How are you staying focused for this part? Um, just trying to focus on getting time on the board. Like, <laughs> just trying to get time on the board. I mean, the ground down there is really, really bad, and I'm just struggling with it so much. So I'm just trying to get time on the board. Yeah, mate, we're behind you. The crowd's behind well, you. You're being proper brave, pal. We love it. If you get as much time on the board as you're getting on the floor, you know, you're going to be great. Well, you know, you keep trying, try, try, try again. And great attitude, actually, because that can, that many falls can knock it out of you. I mean, it's been great crowd-pleasing entertainment, seeing you hit the floor again and again and again. You know, uh, you know, my heart has dropped a little bit at times, wanting you to do well. But, uh, no, great day, great attitude, and we're going in now to the final heat of this first round with a very real possibility that Consider It Done could actually end the first competition in first place and be the championship leaders after round one. What an amazing day that would be. That is just, you know, let's really hope gypsy for it. You know, we hope for the best for all of the teams going out yeah. there, but a traditional <laughs> gypsy cop well, running uh, against proper racehorses yeah. and beating them. Yeah, he's really. currently beating Mad Atters, of course, which is Lord Attenborough, who raced in the, in the 2004 Grand National. And uh, the next one, the ne the, in front of this gypsy cob, is uh, an, a polo pony and a thoroughbred racehorse, which is only three seconds away. So that is absolutely brilliant. Um, hope to see you soon. If you're not here, enjoy the videos and you know see us at the next round in Tame.